Ever wondered how to photograph your favorite band and when to start? I will tell you how I did it with two cheap spill lights, some color gels and what to look out for. Let's get rocking! So first of all, scout the location. This is the most important part you can do. It's very very important so you will know. What's the background? What's the color? If there will be light bouncing all around? If there will be reflections? All that jazz. The environment should be flattering. Everything should be neat, clean and nice so the band will look like a nice product. We tried to cover the white walls with something black but this is not always the case. It might be not that easy, just remember you need to deal with this to the best of your abilities. I used two cheap young Newell speed lights. They worked like a charm, but as you can see a lot of reflection in the background because this is the banner for the band and unfortunately it was either that or a white wall. Definitely this is the better case. You can try to angle the speed lights so there won't be any reflections in the lens. Okay, portraits. Every band member is a different person. Try and play to their strengths and what they like. For example, you can find a posture from a movie or a film that will work. Try something else. Different shots, normal shots. Go with something crazy. Those are artists, after all, they will enjoy it. Each of them have their own liking and their own idea for a great portrait. Just ask them, it will be a lot easier. They will be happy you asked them. A nice idea is to shoot every band member one after another. They could, for example, use this on Instagram. And remember, you can leave some space, like rule of thirds, the basic, so you can either slap a logo or add some or add some concert information, something especially for the social media. We had some LED panels and I used umbrellas, silver ones, with suits. We had some green panels and I used silver umbrellas and speed light with a gel, nothing more. Really easy, just remember to have everything on the Wi-Fi or Bluetooth because it's a lot easier that way. Color grading is pretty much self-explanatory. You use the colors that the band like. For example, if they have some colors for the album or something similar, you use that gels. If not, you can do whatever you want. Hard, harsh colors are always the best for some rock metal bands. Regular images are fun, but they are not that fun. It's always nice to have this magical color that will just give the, and take the attention from you and you will see this right away in your social media. Orton effect, filters, anything you like, also you can add it try it if someone wants this just go crazy and don't be afraid you will eventually do like barbara says a happy mistake and that's it when shooting in small places like this it's pretty much crucial to crop and make the proper perspective like don't show all the junk all around when they are training but just crop it in make it about the person make it about the people you don't really have to show everything you can of course add a vignette mask it out just like here and that's it Otherwise, remember, too many photos also might be a problem. Try the photos, like go with top 20 or 50, but if you have 300 of those or even more, that becomes a problem, because it takes a lot of time. Remember, the last thing, make it natural. The more fun, the more natural people look, the better the images. And that's all. Hit me up in the comments and bye for now.